Hey, it's Tech with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix a problem where the data transfer gets canceled and you get this message when you're trying to transfer your data from your old iPhone to a new iPhone. You might get this data canceled or something along the lines of unable to complete data transfer. And there's a couple things you want to do that will fix this issue for you. So we're going to walk you through that. So let's get started. So generally, when you have this issue, first thing is, you want to make sure both of your phones are at least 50% or more charged. You can pull down on the old phone to see the percentage here is a 49. So want to charge it up to 70, 80% to be safe. And the same with thing with the new phone. If it's, you can see the battery up top here. If it's full, that's good. You want to make sure both devices are fully charged. If not, you know, more than 50%. That way, when the data transfer happens, it takes a little bit of time. It doesn't uh, have any issues because it does require sort of power between the devices. The next thing you want to ensure is that the Bluetooth is on your, your old phone. Just like that, it should be on by default here. If it's not, you can also go into your setting here, click on this, turn it off, and then turn it back on because this transfer that happens requires Bluetooth to be on during the whole time. And the new iPhone should already have Bluetooth enabled. Now the next thing you want to do is update both of the phone to the latest iOS version. And to do that, it's going to be really simple here. The first is the old phone that you have. You're already going to be having access to the menu here. So you're going to go to settings, go to general software update. And if there's an update available, go ahead and update your phone. Make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged. Again, give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to successfully install the update and make sure again your phone is connected to a good strong cellular data connection. Now, you also want to update your new phone and you might be wondering, all right, how do I update the new phone because I haven't set it up? Well, you're going to have to set it up without moving any of the data or trying to move any of the data. In order to do that, again, just simply go through the whole process step by step all the way to the main screen without really setting anything up. So you can actually go to the main screen. So we're going to go to the main screen set it up, update the phone, and then do a factory reset. So we're going to hit continue here. And then this time, as you saw here, we're going to set up without another device. You do need to connect to Wi-Fi to get through. I enter my Wi-Fi password. I'm going to join. And what I'll do is skip through all of these steps. It's going to ask me to set certain things up. I'm not going to move the data. And I'll show you how I do that quickly. And again, this is kind of necessary if you're getting that data failure or cancel because the software has to match up here you can update now as you can see here or you can set up later if you don't get that menu simply just go through this process we set up for yourself you don't need to set up face id here you don't need to set up passcode yet because once you move everything over it will also move those things over you don't need to transfer anything this time as you see here and then we're not going to we don't even need to um, sign into our apple id yet we can say we're going to set up later but we don't need to do that and then we hit agree here and then we can just click on continue here and then any of these are not really needed again because we're going to do the transfer over anyways you don't need to set up your cellular so you can skip through that and then you can skip through all of this just set it just don't share and simply we're just going to hit continue and you're back to the or at least on the main phone we don't need to set anything up yet now this time we're going to settings here we're going to general software update again same exact thing you're going to go ahead and update it and make sure that version that we saw on the old phone and the new phone matches because it's important that these versions line up correctly so when you update your old phone and new phone they should have the same version and once you have updated the phone version you go and to your setting here after the update has been complete again like i mentioned it will take about half an hour to 45 minutes and you go ahead and factory reset this phone by going into your setting general all the way down here it says transfer reset iphone and this time because you want to uh, set it up like new again we'll erase everything here content we'll hit continue here erase phone and nothing should be on this phone because again we just set it up just so we can update the phone so here it's being factory reset it should take about maybe a minute or two at most there since there isn't any data to actually erase besides just getting us back to that hello screen again and we're gonna wait for it to go to the hello screen so we're almost there and all right so it's getting almost there 
And then after you updated your old phone, you also want to do a forced restart on your old phone. So in order to do that, you press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. And I will wait till the screen goes completely black. As you can see, I'm holding that side button. The screen went black, that's good. And then I see the Apple logo, I let go of that button now. That has done a forced restart, so it's just shutting out the software and then reloading it. So it's a software-related issue. It'll fix that for us. And you can also do a forced restart on the new phone as well if you like it, if it's still not working for you. But you just have to wait till it gets to the main screen. Here, now it's good to go. Now, as you can see, I got a hello screen. Now I can set up again, go into, you can hit continue here but you don't need to you can also go into your setting you select the language hit continue and this time you're gonna do setup without another device you can connect to Wi-Fi one more time here turn my Wi-Fi password on the new phone and I'm gonna go through this and wait till it gets to the later menu where you can set up the phone so with that quick setup comes up sometimes that quick setup doesn't work great but there's if you go through a few more screen, you might have noticed that you can go through here where you don't need to set this up. Uh, all of this will move over. And then you want to come to this screen and then you set up the data transfer from another iPhone. This instead of using that quick setup menu. And then from here, it will take you back here and then it will look for your device here. You want to bring it close. And let's see if it picks it up. No, man. Go back again. Try one more time. And while you do this, you might also need to do another force restart here. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and hold that side button as you can see. Here, I'm going to wait till this shuts down again. Remember the volume up and down, quick, and then holding that side button. So wait for the Apple logo to appear. As you can see, I let go of that button right here. And it's going to turn that on again one more time for us. And then this time around, we should see that menu come up and we'll set it up and hopefully you can successfully do your data transfer just like that so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time